Well, what does basket mean? Basket making mean to you? Well, it actually is a sense of contentment. And as I was talking with some of my students yesterday, it's an immortalization, egotistically speaking, because you're creating something that can live many generations beyond your own lifetime. That people can enjoy years from now. And to some of my students, I tell them, people who will never, may never meet you personally, will meet you and through your work wanted to present it as a gift or a bot. It's the satisfaction of passing down part of your cultural identity to future generations. To me, it's also <coughs> economically valuable because through my jobless times, I've still been able to, <laughs> to live and sustain myself through my art, which isn't the most important aspect, but we all like to, <laughs> to be comfortable. <laughs> like to make a living. They can have the old days. But it's the inner satisfaction that it gives me. When I complete a piece, it's often, people say how much you want for that, it always never fails to leave me speechless because I'm not really thinking about that when I'm making them. It really gives a great sense of uh, understanding, enjoyment, completion when you've gathered everything yourself, prepared it yourself, prepared, for instance, making a basket that's all native materials with all native dyes and all native instruments. I, having my students use these deer allness, which is part of the, the Aboriginal natives paraphernalia and all the hundreds we have now, they throw them away. But I hope that each of these basket makers will start saving the front legs at the elbow of the deer for the instruments. And as uh, time goes on, your personal use gives them a real nice patina and sort of an ivory-like uh, texture. The actual satisfaction is now that I can sit back and watch my sister's growing skills, my student's growing skills. And for a long time, there was just three of us in this community that regularly practiced this craft. Then my cousin, Emily Miller, the younger, passed away. And that primarily left my cousin Richard Galti and I. But over the years, my sisters have been, as you can see by the work here, greatly increasing their skills and passing it on down to their children and grandchildren. Anne's daughter, Barbara, is a, a very, very promising basket maker now. I'm gonna have her study you. <laughs> our next hope is to produce our own Tawana basketry book done by ourselves.